Hi everybody. Okay, so this is our last video. We've learned how to log into Schoology courses. We've logged into Schoology Teams or Meet to create a video conference. And we have modeled Schoology assignments. This is our last video of the day. And so all we're gonna learn here is how to edit the material. But in editing the material, there's actually three different things you're going to need to do. You're gonna need to edit or publish the material You'll need to learn how to individually assign material and possibly edit the deadlines. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, I have gone ahead and used again one of my uh, uh, archived courses right here. And I'm in the materials page, which is where all of the assignments are at. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and go back into our week 34, okay, uh, folder, because of course I already know we have assignments here that we can use. Now I'm going to go into the folder itself. Okay. And down here are the three different types of assignments that I've given for the week. And let's say, for example, that the teacher has asked you to go ahead and help the students with the story organizer. Maybe this particular assignment uh, needs to be unpublished. Maybe she doesn't want the students to see this anymore. Or maybe in reverse, this has been unpublished and she wants you to publish it. Either way, what you're going to do is you're going to go right here and you're going to look at these gear icons. Okay. Each assignment has a gear icon to the right. You're going to click on that. And when you do it, you're going to see that you have, let me see if I can go ahead and oops. Um, you have different options. You have edit, you have unpublished. And basically those are the two that you're going to be learning today. You have others such as moving this assignment somewhere else. You can copy this assignment to a different course, delete the assignment altogether, and uh, save to the resources. But you will need edit and unpublish. So the very first one would be the publish unpublished. This is a toggle uh, key. And so what you do is if you want to unpublish this, that means this has already been published and this little dot is in uh, a clear color. So it, right now I see black behind it. Um, if I wanted to publish it, all I would have to do is click on this and it would toggle over to the published version. So I'm going to, um, excuse me, it would toggle over to the unpublished. So I'm going to click here. It's going to ask you, are you sure? Yes. Yes. I do want to unpublish it. And so what happens is notice how all of a sudden this particular assignment has this like gray overlay uh, on it. And also the icon for the material is kind of blurred. That's because the students cannot see this anymore. I have unpublished it. This assignment is still published. This assignment is still published, but this one is unpublished and the students cannot see it. So let's say for example, now the teacher says, uh, please publish this assignment for the students today. Okay, I come over to my gear icon and now notice what happens. Since it is already unpublished, my only other option is to now click on the publish uh, tab right here. So notice how you have a little green dot. That's what's gonna happen every time you have something that's published. If you see that green dot anywhere on the assignment where you edit it or where you publish it, that means that the students are looking at it. They can see it. So let's go ahead and publish this, click publish. It's going to ask you again, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure I want to publish it. Now there's only two other things you need to learn how to do. And both of those are inside of the edit section. So I'm going to click again on my uh, gear icon. And this time I'm going to click on edit. Okay. So here you have your assignment. I have the option to edit anything within this assignment. You'll see that at the top is the title of the assignment. Here is the text box where the description is that if I needed to add some other information in here, I could type into this box. Uh, here is the actual application that's being used. In this case, I'm using a, my Google Drive. I got a Google Slides uh, assignment out of there. Here is the due date. This is the other section that you may need to edit for the teacher. Okay. You have categories, the period it comes out in certain factors and thinking options. Um, 
But what the next part that you need to look at is really this options section. Okay, in the options section, you'll see that you have this like triangular three little dots. You have a little locking mechanism. You have your green dot because it's published. And then you have this other little gray dot. Now, in order for you to see what each of these are, if you're curious to see well, what is each one and how do I use it in case your teacher asks you to do it, uh, I've gone ahead and the link for another website where you can actually see uh, what these little icons are all for. Now, right here, you'll see the picture where you have more icons even to use. And if you scroll down a little bit, you'll notice how this is actually animated. At this website, it actually gives you uh, this little moving cursor that tells you exactly what each one is. And a little further down, you have the actual explanation for each of them. So in case you're wondering or you're curious about what they are and how to use each and every one of them, this website is available to you. And I have included the link to this website in the Genially presentation. Okay, so now let's go back over to our edit page. All right, so here we have the dialog box. This is our edit page. And um, the two items that you might need to edit are here. The due date, which is very simply just a little drop down calendar. You can change it, like say, for example, it's set for the 14th, it was Friday. Maybe your job is set for the 17th and the teacher wants to extend this assignment, <coughs> excuse me, extend this assignment to the 17th. Okay, all you have to do is click on the new date, whatever date they've given you. Now it's changed. You can also change the time, okay, of when this is going to be due and change the save the change, okay? You must save the change in order for this to happen. If you don't save whatever changes you've made to this assignment, you will not be able to uh, keep it. The minute you get out of it, like say, if all you do is change this and click on the exit, the little X right here, nothing gets saved. The student still can't see it and you'll have to go back in and, and redo it. So make sure after you make a change, you save the change. Okay, so that's the due date. The only other one you may need to do is this one, which is individually assign the material. Say for example, this is not a daily work assignment. Maybe this is a retest. Obviously not every student is gonna get a retest, only those who need it. So say for example, you go into a job site and the teacher has asked you to assign a retest to two students. Okay, there will be then the assignment already prepared that says retest on it. When you find it, you're going to click on the little gear icon that we have there on the side. It'll open this box up and you'll go down here to options where this little three dot triangle is at. And right now, no one has been individually assigned it, so it's in gray. But once I click on it, notice what happens is that this extra little text box opens up the assign to text box opens up. Once you click here, you'll be able to begin typing the name of a course member, in other words, a student or grading group, okay? As soon as you start typing the first letter of the name of the person, the name and sometimes pictures of the students will start to pop out down here underneath. You'll see all those that might have a letter that has uh, that particular letter in, in their name. Um, and as you keep typing, the more accurate person, the person you're actually looking for, will start to pop up towards the top. The minute you see the name of the person, all you have to do is click on them and it will make sure that their name stays here. And then all you do is click on the next section where it's an empty spot next to the name of the first student you just got to type in and you can keep adding more students you can add as many students as you need to once you have done this of course uh, you will then save the changes now you're wondering why why am I not typing something in this is an actual assignment that I gave to 
my students. And even though this is an archived uh, course and this is an archived assignment, once I start to type even the first letter, you'll see a bunch of uh, real students' names and pictures come up here. So therefore, I am not going to do that. But just know that when you start to type, you will have that little uh, drop down list of students that comes out and you get to choose from there. Make sure that, for example, if this was a real retest uh, and nobody else had gotten it yet, this little green dot would not be green. It would be unpublished. You would be the first one to publish it. So after you click on the three little uh, colored dots and you type in the name of the students who actually need this retest, then you have to remember to come back here and click on the dot so that when you save the changes, the students who are in this list will actually get to see it because you published it to them. Okay, and that's basically it. You make sure that you find your assignment, you go to the gear icon and click on edit. And once you're in the edit uh, dialog box right here, you choose either to change the due date or maybe individually assign uh, something to a student. You type in the name of the students you want, choose them from the pictures. You have to actually click on the picture um, and then save your changes. And that's it. That's all you do. If you don't click on save changes and you cancel instead, whatever was there before you made the changes will, um, will remain. You will uh, essentially um, delete any new changes you might have done. Okay, save it to keep it. Click cancel to cancel any changes you have made. And that's it. Hope this helped.